Do I debit or credit? A common problem students have is knowing whether or not to debit or credit the account. This short recording will explain an easy way to remember whether to debit or credit. We debit or credit general ledger accounts. These are used to record increases and decreases in the account balances. Or we'll use a T account format to demonstrate this. We have one of these accounts for every account in our chart of accounts. Each is named and has a number. The left side is the debit side and the right side is the credit side. In this context, debit and credit means nothing more than the left and right side of the T account. Let's look at a balance sheet. We have assets on one side, which equals the total liabilities and equity on the other side. This reflects the accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. Let's put a T account over the top of that. We have debit on the left side and credit on the right side. If we increase assets, we debit them. If we decrease as assets, we do the opposite. So we have to credit assets. We therefore expect assets to normally have a debit balance. If we increase liabilities or equity accounts, we credit them. Likewise, if we decrease these accounts, we do the opposite. So we debit them. Liabilities and equity will normally have a credit balance. Dividends or drawings in the case of sole traders, is a reduction of equity, so it must be debited. If we increase draw drawings, we're reducing our equity. Revenue accounts increase equity, so revenue accounts will need to be credited, while expense accounts decrease equity, so expense accounts must be debited. So our debit and credit rules all come back to the accounting equation and the balance sheet. This table shows you whether to debit or credit each type of account if you're increasing it and what the normal balance should be. To decrease an account, simply do the opposite.